Hi, Paul Hefty here with the Triangle O football system. I want to go over a new stretch inverted veer concept where we have the quarterback doing veer run run options. What we're going to do here is read the front side defensive end for all of these. Key coaching point, you want to pick which one of these three different variations fits you and your personnel best, specifically looking at quarterback and then tackles. Last teaching point, what we're using here is a traditional inside veer rules for that play side tackle. If the defensive end aligns outside of him, then he's going to do what we call a veer replace step, stepping with his inside foot first, but getting straight up field, going to the first backer head up or inside. If the defensive end is head up, or wood line inside shade. Now the, that play side tackle is going to take a zone stretch step where he's going to outside release like you would for stretch zone. Again, looking for the first backer head up to inside. Let's take a look. All right, the first variation is a classic stretch inverted veer run run option. What we're going to do here is, is do our stretch blocking with all the offensive line except the play side tackle and the H back. The tackle again will take his release dependent on the alignment of that read key, which is the defensive end. In this case, in the 4 2 stack, he's an outside alignment, so he'll use his veer replace steps with his inside foot first, working right up to the first linebacker head up on back. The H will always arc release in a 2 by 2 set to the number 2 defender from the outside in, in this case being the Sam backer. The running back and quarterback execute their same stretch technique, except the quarterback now will take two shuffle steps, giving him time to read that defensive end. If the end sits or turns his shoulders down into the ball and the line of scrimmage, then he's going to give to the back. If the defensive end starts to work upfield and towards the outside with the back, then on the second shuffle step, he'll plant and go right off tackle, hence the inverted veer. Let receivers are all going to go ahead and bongo block with all stretch inverted veer concepts. All right, the second variation is a toss inverted veer. We're going to do exactly what we did with stretch with the blocking up front. You can see now, though, the play side tackle has a head up alignment of the defensive end read key, and he'll use now what we call a zone stretch step to the outside, releasing to the first linebacker head up or back inside. H back still arch releases, receivers all bongo blocking. Quarterback now will still take his two shuffle steps, but the back will align towards the play side, taking a drop step and then running to keep a five yard spacing from the quarterback. If the defensive end sits or turns his shoulders downfield, now the quarterback will do an underhand toss just like he would for a sweep to the back. If the defensive end attacks upfield and outside or runs to the sweep after the second shuffled step, then he'll, he'll keep the ball off tackle. He can use a fake of the shuffle or the toss, but he doesn't have to. Last is speed option. We're going to use the same exact blocking schemes. Again, you can see the play side tackle now has a head up alignment or an inside alignment. So he'll do his zone stretch step release, blocking the Sam backer, who's the first backer head up or inside. Quarterback now will still take his two shuffle steps, attacking the outside leg of the defensive end. But he'll have the ball up in front of his chest in the ready position for an option pitch technique. Running back still takes his same drop step and then runs, keeping that five yard spacing. Usually when we attack with an option look, this uh, forces the end to be a more aggressive attack in the quarterback. And again, you can see them with speed option. We really want to get the ball pitched to the back. So again, you can see now we've got three variations of one simple concept building off our stretch zone RPOs, but giving you the ability to use your quarterbacks in a double option read scheme run run option. Thanks.